back again. All right. I want to talk a little about the microorganisms, the microbes in the soil. It's pretty interesting because they're actually what make up the soil. Um, because soil is alive. Um, very similar how we're made up of microscopic creatures, cells, trillions of them that make up this one being, me. I want to start off by reading some more of the secrets of the soil by Peter Tompkins and Christopher Bird. New solutions for restoring our planet. It's about three in the morning and uh, just up reading. So um, this is from chapter five, Microcosmos. That's the name of the chapter, Microcosmos. Pretty cool chapter name. Not only is the soil their natural habitat, they invented it. As the base for all that lives, toothless and mouthless, they ingest through their membranes and chew up with chemical action the seasoned elements from hard, bare rock of the planet they inherited. The weight of microorganisms busy under grassland is far greater than all of the large mammals, cows, horses, rabbits, mice, gophers, toads, snakes, birds, grasshoppers, spiders, and other types of animal life that run above it or take shelter in it. A single micro reaching maturity and dividing within less than a half hour can in the course of a single day grow into 300 million more and in another day more than the number of human beings that has ever lived. God damn. Now that's just amazing. Um, it truly is a microcosmos, soil. The amount of life in soil is just infinite basically. And to think that these things are just in the soil breaking down elements and, t and making them usable for the plants and animals. It's genius. Kind of blows my mind. I think you should blow yours too. Within the soil, procreating a high concentration of bacteria and short fertility. Recycling the elements through their chemical laboratories that constitute their bodies, making them available to plants. Nitrogen and carbon are not alone in requiring the help of microbes before they can be rendered fit for plants. As nitrogen is converted into nitrate, phosphorus into phosphate, sulfate into sulfate, chlorine into chloride, boron into borate, and so on due to elements thanks to microbes. So these microscopic creatures take minerals and trace elements Pieces of earth, literally, pieces of earth, and transform them into other elements, which are then used by plants to help and aid their growth. It's mind boggling how these microscopic organisms can uh, break down and uh, transform the trace elements and minerals that the earth is made up of. Microbes first attack the substances that decompose most readily, such as sugars and cellulose. When these are used up, most of the microbes die, making up with their bodies half of the total of the soil's organic matter. And a staggering number of dead microbes are decomposed and consumed by other microbes in a never-ending cycle. So the microbes are truly what gives the soil its life and what makes up the soil. Um, it all starts with microbes. They are the soil. All life depends on them. Till next time.